watcher in this video we take a look at how to create a multi-boot windows rescue cd or dvd or usb so let's have a little look how we're going to go about it i've had a lot of requests for this video so i thought i could make a quick video and show you how to do it it's pretty easy really when you see how easy it is you're going to wonder why you ask so let's have a little look what we're going to do we're going to be using this program here called sardu i think it's pronounced like that this guy has made an awesome bit of software and it's really really useful so head over to here download that also if you like the software there's a donate button there show you, show you support to this guy and uh, donate we're going to have a, a folder on our desktop called start sardu this is where we've got all our uh, program in there and there's a folder in there called iso and that's where we need to put all our iso images that we're going to create our cd or usb from okay now i've also got a Windows folder on here, Windows Re Recovery Disks folder, and this is where all my ISO images are for my recovery disks. Okay, that's from XP, Vista, uh, Vista 32 bit and 64 bit, and also Windows 7 32 bit and 64 bit. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is copy these into that uh, folder called ISO. So I'm going to right click and copy those. I'm going to go into the Sardu program folder and then click on ISO and then paste them in there it's as simple as that once that's done I'll give you the links so you can see before I start this off here are the links that I used for the ISO images okay they're all straight away you can download these straight off the internet uh, I can't take no responsibility for their safety, uh, but just scan them. Uh, they're they're pretty safe as far as I can see. Um, but yeah, download these, and you can see the 32-bit and 64-bit versions. Let's open up the Sardu folder and go to the program, and we're going to fire this up. Say yes to that. I'm going to close that back box down and move this into the center. Okay, as you can see, there's lots of stuff in here, lots of utilities and and tools we can use. But we're just going to go straight to the Windows tab. Now you can see this ticks already in here. That means it's recognised the software, all the ISO images, I should say. It's recognised those, and um, it's now put the ticks in, ready to go. Now, if you hover over these, you can actually see um, the links for the ISOs. Okay, so you do need to make sure they are exactly like that otherwise the ticks will not be in here so if you use a different source to get your iso images you need to rename them rc.iso otherwise it won't work and also as you can see vista underscore recovery underscore disk dot iso okay you need to co copy those uh, links otherwise it won't work now what we can do now is we can either create a usb which is, means we'll have to have a usb stick stick it in the drive and away we go or we can create a, a make an ISO image to burn to uh, a disk. Okay, now I'm just going to create an ISO here. There's the total size. So we're pretty in uh, in our limit there. So we can actually click on this now. I'm just going to leave it in this folder. Click OK. You see it go green. That means it's copied them. Okay, and last one. Okay, so here we have it now creating our ISO image. You can see it's now making it there. Okay, it's been successful. And there's all the uh, jargon there that you can read through if you want to. Now, another thing I wanted to mention before I finish this off these links are clickable. So, some of them aren't downloadable and some of them are but uh, basically you click on them and it will take to a website where you can download them I didn't bother doing this method I just downloaded them from my own sources okay so bear that in mind so let's have a little look at the folder okay you can see a little ISO image in here now 573 megabytes called Sardu you can now rename this whatever you like you can call it Windows recovery CD okay or multi boot or whatever you want to do okay now I'm going to boot this up and show you what it looks like it's pretty straightforward really 
So let me just restart. Okay, so this is what we're going to be greeted with as soon as we boot up and we've got our CD in. What we need to do is come down to our uh, menu, Windows Live menu, click on that. This will give us the option to boot into our XP recovery console or we're going to boot from the menu multi PE uh, section here. I'm going to click on that because we've got a Windows 7 operating system here and it will only recognize these ones and not the XP version. If I had XP, I'd go into the XP version. But here you can see our list of what we want. So I'm going to click on uh, Windows 7 32 bit. Click on that. This will then boot up our recovery console for Windows 7 32 bit. And it's pretty much as simple as that, really. And now you've got a really handy utility which will have all the recovery disks in one place. So when you're out and about fixing computers, you can actually just bosh that in and uh, fix what you need to fix, or you can use your USB stick. Okay, USB is the same sort of thing really, you just click on that and it will send all the files to the USB. I'm not going to bother going through that now. I'll probably do that in another video. We should be at the recovery console soon. Click next there. then next again and there we have our recovery console for Windows 7 pretty simple really as you can see but very very useful okay so I'm going to uh, shut this off and restart so I'll just quickly restart here get to the desktop and I think that will be it for this video but if you did want to create a USB version then all you'd need to do as I said was have a, a USB stick stick it in the drive and then push the actual tab for USB and it will do the same thing, copy the files over there and then change your boot order to boot to USB and uh, Bob's your uncle, you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, show your support, hit that subscribe button and also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you again soon. See you later. Bye.